Guys, you already know what it is. This is actually <laughs> last week's episode. This last is, week. This is the episode from last week, a yeah. week ago today. So When we were on a gigantic, a big-ass yacht. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's today's episode. Today's oh. episode, we're on a yacht. Oh fuck! Last yeah. week, this is actually last week's episode Let's where we're not. Again. Where we're no, no, no. It's fine. Where we're not on a yacht. <laughs> and so, if you want to see the episode where we are on a yacht, then you'll have to go on on Patreon. Patreon.com. Patreon.com. Slash Tiny Meat Gang. And as you know, that's always ad free. Yeah, always so, ad free. We'll see you there. See you there on the big boy yacht. Ow! <laughs> How would you do that? <laughs> that really hurt. How would you do that? A little wake, little wake up call. Wake in the up morning. Call. That's what it is. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> They're not going to hear that after like I, I do the noise canceling. After <laughs> I do the <laughs> fucking, I don't, I don't even, I'm so, I don't, I'm so tired. I don't even know what Jesus it is. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, Get sorry. it together. I'm sorry, sorry dude. Um, no. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, hey, me, listen, let me, don't talk to me before I've had a sip of that. Yeah, let me, Am I right? Let me bust this down. Nice, dude. I think I've seen that in a someone's, vlog before. Someone's got a case of the Fridays. <laughs> God damn it. It's good, right? Yeah, it's pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Pretty decent, brother. You just got my scabies. Joke's oh. on you. I got to turn us up a little bit. We're pretty soft. Anyway, what's up, guys? We just did. We're. We're just did. We're just did. We're just didding a. Uh, we're in a hotel right now. We're in. We're um, just didding a shown. We're just didding a shown. And. It was um pretty good time, pretty funnies. Yeah, it was pretty funnies, and so <laughs> sounds like Dutch. Yeah, <laughs> pretty we, funnies. We were we weren't just doing a show, and it was uh, pretty funnies. Yeah, pretty funnies. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, very good time, very good time. After I drank so many liters of on stage, actually, I drank so many liters of water. I had to pissing so bad <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> The whole time, you know, it's like your stomach is like full of piss. <laughs> full of pissing, yeah. <laughs> full of pissing. <laughs> it's full of pissing. No, it was a lot of fun. No, it was dope. Grand Rapids was dope. <clears throat> and and I know there's the one guy listening to the podcast like, oh, God, another tour podcast. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, man, we performed in a church. We got to say pussy yeah. in the church. Yeah, we did. Saying. Yeah, we said we said pretty much every cuss word in the book. Yeah, in the church. In the church. Yeah. Which, come on, how often do you get to do that? Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Unless you're like a serious bad boy. Yeah. We play the penis game in church all the time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Two kids playing the penis game in church and then fucking <laughs> the pastor gets horny. <laughs> nice. Penis, where? Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So, oh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> so Jesus said unto thee. <laughs> God, my mouth is moist. <laughs> well, the thing is, though, after the show is we did feel a little bit bad about all the um, dirty words we said. So we yeah. waited till everyone left and we hit the confessional booth. We did. And we there's no one in there. So we did. We did each other's. Yeah. Confessionals. Yeah. And we said <laughs> we got in there and we said, Father. Yep. We said, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Daddy, my bad. <laughs> really sorry for saying piss just now. <laughs> Didn't mean to say pussy that many times. <laughs> just someone, someone goes in there and says, Daddy, <laughs> instead of Father. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor's like, I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> if you just slide that little wood panel back. Oh, I can God. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh what? You're a grown man? Not not my type. Um That was cool, man. It was really cool. The the acoustics in there were fucking incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It was like the roof was so high. We were in Grand so, Rapids, by the way. Yeah, shout this out was Grand Rapids. Shout out to you, Grand Rapids. Uh just chilling in Grand Rapids. Ah. Uh, Remember dude, that meme? Yeah, I believe that is a Chillery Clinton bit. Mm hmm It was Cedar Rapids, but I I switched it. Yeah. Well little homage. Little homage. Yeah. To the meme. So I mean that's that's what it is to be hip to internet culture. So just inject all the memes. I couldn't believe that fifteen hundred people stayed there in the heat of that fucking church. Oh yeah, dude. That that's shit. the only problem is it got super fucking hot in there. Yeah. So if we come if we come back there, we'll definitely come back during like the fall or some shit where it's like colder. It gets cold in the fall, something like that. Yeah. I mean, we looked down. It was like 
even like just halfway through the show looking and people are like tearing pages out of the Bible and fanning themselves <laughs> with it. <laughs> I don't think they were actually doing that, but some somebody might have. Yeah. I don't know. But we looked down and everyone was like fanning themselves. Everyone's like, <sighs> Yeah. You were the, actually that they put a fan on stage for us, but it was only hitting you. So you didn't feel it at all? There were certain spots where I could feel it like on the side of my neck. It felt like Jesus was like <laughs> whispering into my neck. <laughs> whispering sweet nothing that's what actually it feels like that, my child. yeah that's that's what it feels like the spirit of the lord <laughs> it's a soft kiss on the neck <laughs> i felt like a model the whole time yeah because yeah just fucking full blast to the side my hair's like going all crazy i'm like damn imagine that shit just being in church just being like i love this oh jesus <laughs> stop it you naughty man stop <laughs> Jesus Christ stop what's going on you're tickling honey, me honey who's tickling you it's Jesus it's the kiss of the Lord <laughs> honey it's the, kiss, it's the kiss of the Lord <laughs> um did you imagine that if like every time I talked to my mic it was just <laughs> <from the pan. laughs> no one could hear you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Grand Rapids was super fi. Milwaukee, insanely fi. Mm -hmm. that, that was tight. Yeah, Milwaukee was crazy. It was a theater with three balconies, mm -hmm. yeah. and so like the the top one, you we you could we I couldn't even barely see the people up there. Yeah, it was so fucking. It just looked so big. Yeah, and cool and open and and open. And that's a good one. And gaping, gaping. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, nah, man, I, I'm just more <laughs> blown away that you, that many people showed up yeah. in Milwaukee and Grand Rapids. So. Yeah, especially when Summerfest is going on right now. Apparently, it's the busy, biggest music festival in the world, yeah. Summerfest, yeah. which happens every year in Milwaukee right now. Yeah. It's fucking like eight days. Yeah. It's like it's 800 bands. Yeah, it's some insane number. And it's something. like 30 bucks a day to go. So cool. So sick. So dope. So next to so Summerfest, maybe next this time next year. Yeah, you know, maybe boys. maybe maybe book us maybe to do music in a little bar or something yeah. like that. <laughs> um, what the fuck? There's this has been like a lot. This is this is that this is that shit again where a lot has happened mm -hmm. and we remember none of it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to go back to our um our little list here. <clears throat> Cody and I are old, we write notes. We're like, oh for the fuck. We got it fucking. Uh, oh. <laughs> we could <laughs> You talk about um, this fiber optic comment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is a great one. Listen to this. This is a DM I got from someone. Yeah. This is this is uh, um, fascinating. Listen to this. My dad owns a fiber optic cable company in the DC slash the DMV area, basically. And apparently the Dobre Bros paid Verizon over six figures to install a whole ass fiber into their house <laughs> so they could have the fastest internet in Maryland. My dad's crew had to go to their house, and apparently they had cars flipped over on their property and sports cars everywhere. Dude, it's just like a gigantic children's room. Oh, yeah, like yeah, little yeah. matchbox toys everywhere, yeah, except they're 100%. all real cars. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Mom's like, clean up in here. Like, no. What did I tell you? No. <laughs> oh, we got to park our cars. <laughs> My dad didn't know who they were and was baffled as to how they could afford this kind of job to be done. But when I saw your video and when you put a clip of their house, I showed my dad and he was like, that's the house. Who are they? <laughs> Crazy. I mean, like, pay, come on, pay man. Pay your taxes. That doesn't make any sense. Pay it doesn't make any sense. Your taxes. It doesn't make, I know we've done the math before. I know we've done this. But <laughs> it just, it makes me like, it almost makes you worried for them. Okay, it's sure. like something's gonna happen. Yeah, like you're gonna run out of money. Yeah, you can't pay a hundred thousand dollars for a fucking <laughs> internet connection. That's so beyond fucking <laughs> stupid. How do they have no one in their life that's like, yo, that's dumb. That's dumb, man. <laughs> like, just pay for the highest tier of internet. You can get gigabit probably for like a hundred bucks a month. Yeah, hundred k. Yeah, you could buy a whole a whole new house for that yeah. in Maryland, especially. <laughs> I don't even think like Ninja or like any top streamer has done something like that. Mm -hmm. And those motherfuckers make big money. They have all <laughs> the reason to do that. <laughs> they have all the reason to do that. You mean like Ninja and them? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that like actually affects their work. Yeah. <laughs> What's gonna happen if if the Dobre brothers can't get their fucking 
challenge video up in five seconds. <laughs> oh, God forbid. <laughs> like, God forbid. That what are their views like, man? I want to go look at their monthly views. Is it insane? Yeah, I mean, like, they, they, get, they definitely get a lot of views, and they have, like, multiple channels. And they're probably part of, like, the preferred ad program. Uh, okay. So I'm guessing they get, like, a lot of that preferred quiche. Yeah. You know, that bird, that, uh, that children's guap. Sweet, sweet child money. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> little baby money. <laughs> little, just little, little, little tiny, little uh, mousy money. Little, little baby, little baby coins. <laughs> baby coins? Yeah, little baby coins. Yo, that's going to be a new crypto. Yeah, baby coin. <laughs> <laughs> it's to teach the, the value of, of trading to babies. Yeah. Let's, you know how like pe people now are like trying to teach babies how to code? Yeah. You know? I, I, we should ham on that for a second because I was thinking about that the other day. What motherfucker? What? These fools have. Okay, so first off, I didn't realize they had eight million subscribers, and then Lucas and Marcus themselves have sixteen million. Oh, maybe they can't afford it. <laughs> what? What are they? What are they? What kind of views are they doing? What's their social blade say? Um, their what's social, their like daily? Their social views. blade is estimating daily views at. About two million, two and a half million a day. Okay, and so that's like ten k a day. So, ten times thirty, ten thousand a day. You yeah. figure? No, that's the high end. So if, yeah, no, it's nowhere near that. Well, I mean, like I don't know. Probably actually, if, if they're, they're preferred, preferred then, yeah, then that's probably close. Then maybe about three hundred k. Still though, three hundred k a month. It's probably in the middle. It's probably like two hundred k. 200k, 150. Call it 150. Yeah, 150. It's still a month. not a lot. One and a half million. 150 a month. They probably aren't making that much money on touring. No. They probably make like decent money on merch, 50 to 100, probably. Yeah. You think a month? Probably. Or maybe even not even that, 50 maybe. Yeah. They're not like, I mean, 200k a month, something like that, just on that one channel. Yeah. And I, I, 30 percent for taxes. I don't even care about this. 60. For so it's 100 and 100 and you know. 140k that they're yeah. making after taxes plus agent management fees. Yeah. That's like a whole month worth of revenue that they spent on a fucking internet connection. Yeah. That's crazy. Doesn't make any sense. I, I don't even do the math to like for envy. I just like I'm I'm just like I I feel like half these dudes are just going to end up like on some Wesley Snipe shit where it's like blah blah YouTuber booked for tax evasion. You know what yeah, saying? I mean or or they're just like the the could you imagine like having this life for four or five years and then like growing up having a family and no longer having that wealth and just like thinking about like when you had all these sports cars and everything and yeah. like what what you should have saved yeah so that you could have like a better life right yeah. now you know yep. what I'm saying yeah that that's what worries me is like people that look back on their like you know stupid kid years and are like god damn like I wish I had would have saved some of that money I know I did all that with like peanut money. So that's why now that I'm making any money at all, I just fucking shove that shit. What do you mean peanut money? Like I would like penis I, money. Yeah, penis money. Mm, yeah, got it. Yeah, I would show my penis on Omegle, and then you, you made get, bank from that. Made a little bit of bank. Yeah, you could make money on Omegle. No, I would give my PayPal. <laughs> just had my Square Cash link yeah. like embedded into my Omegle. No, I just had my account number, <laughs> account <laughs> routing number. I was the first cam girl. I was the people would wire me money. Yeah, people direct wires. Take like three business days to get to me. You imagine an old dude in like early two thousands <laughs> going into the bank. I have to wire some money to who? Um, Mallory. <laughs> I have to wire money to Sapphire. <laughs> who? She's a lovely lady I've met online. Uh, yeah, it's I have to wire money to uh, Weed Lady Four. Yeah, <laughs> Pretty Kitty. <num> <laughs> <laughs> pretty, ki pretty Kitty Seventy Two. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Apparently this this kid had a tweet like blow up because he quoted that Bernie being a streamer thing. Yeah. With like something I said on the podcast. I was like, Anime Lover sixty nine, thank you for the five hundred bits. And so anime. Did you, did you see that you see that comps one where it's him and it's Fortnite? Yeah. And like this is the subscriber message says like yeah. so and so has felt the burn for three months. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. <laughs> What's the deal? So he streamed before the presidential debate or something? I don't fucking know, dude. He's just trying to be more relatable to <clears throat> fucking weed people. Hum <laughs> humble people. Actually, no. 
I don't. I'm not going to talk shit about people from Humboldt County because I watched that documentary, um, Killer the Killer Mountain or whatever. What's that? It's like just basically about how like w- weed suppliers in Humboldt are. I don't know. It's it's definitely it's like gang shit. It's drug warfare shit. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty sad. Like people get stuck up there. They go up there because they have this. <laughs> they have like a fascination for weed and a love for weed and what it does for the world. And they want to like grow and sell, so they start by going into Humboldt to be um, trimmers, like you know, just trimming wheat. And they just end up being in a room with like three illegal people, and they're just trimming weed all day uh, for like no money. It's like fucking. And they sleep on like the floor, and it's, it's it's just crazy. Jesus, it's like it, it's it's like some. It's just like some factory shit. Yeah, it's some definitely some sweatshop situation hmm. and um the stories are like really fucking sad and so as far as i got in the documentary there was this dude he's all masked up and um he like left humboldt for a bit and then he came back and some like rival suppliers or whatever sellers they just came through <clears throat> they like burned all his crops they destroyed his house like destroyed it hmm. like left his life like in shambles and like he comes back he's like well cool they just fucked my entire life up he's just sitting there like now now i have nothing and it was legal like it's like he's like supplying wheat and growing it <clears throat> legally i so i forget if it's legal to, I, I, bl- I don't think it's actually legal to grow and sell there that's like the misconception no it definitely is there uh, there's something around it where it's like i think like the cops are just paid off to go away hmm. but because they're it, part of the dock is one guy does go through the system like local government to grow and sell legally mm-hmm. and he he's like he's like i'm fucking broke uh my margin is like nothing now like he's like talking about how like he has to do this to like because it's all he has mm-hmm. but in reality like he's not going to make a lot of money well, I mean, what is it about Humboldt that makes <sighs> it is it like the like growing there is easier because it's uh, yeah i think ge- geographically there's some benefit to growing there mm. Uh, I think it's also just part of the culture there, but also people just straight up die, <clears throat> die there. They just disappear. There's like stories of people who go there to like be trimmers, and like there's like some lady down there has been looking for her daughter for like years. Oh man, yeah, sad shit. Jesus, yeah. I went to. I've been to Eureka. Never been. What's that? That's in Humboldt County. I'm Whoa. pretty sure Eureka, <laughs> California. That's where my dad broke the world record. Oh. For most distance traveled in 24 hours by human power. Damn. Yeah. Does, does he still hold that record? Or somebody no, no, no. He doesn't hold it anymore. Damn. Someone busted that wide open. <laughs> Was your dad like, he like clench his fist and he's like, I will get my. Belt. Well, he got it back. I'm pretty sure. I think someone got it from him. And then he got it back. And oh. then, and then he, and then. Now it's broken again. I'm pretty sure, but he, my dad, my dad was in the Guinness Book of World Records for like three years or something like that. <laughs> That's insane. How sick is that? I like as a kid, I used to get that every single Christmas. As did every kid. I'm pretty sure. Did you yeah, ever get that? Yeah, I got that every Christmas. Like some years. aunt would give you the Guinness Book yeah. of World, and it was like always dope. Yeah, reading that shit was crazy. Yeah, and then like for three years, my dad was a picture in that fucking book. <laughs> so, so cool. Tight. Yeah, but that was that's my memory of Eureka, California. It was like a pretty eerie place. Yeah. Like very small town, yeah, and just like, just like where the fuck are we? Yeah, um, but also stunningly beautiful at the same time. Yeah, I can see that. That whole area is like pretty, pretty beautiful. <laughs> yeah, go go check that um, go check that shit out on Netflix, y'all. That's a, uh, it's pretty. I don't know, it's pretty cool, pretty interesting. <laughs> Remember that chick yesterday? Which one? No, I was talking about. I was telling on a, stage. She's telling. And I'm telling a bit in the middle of it. She's like, "Is this on Netflix?" Just like in the middle of the thing, I'm like, "What are you? What are you yeah, bitch. like I don't know. Check the check yeah. your phone. I don't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just Google, Google it real quick. Yeah, look it up, lady. <laughs> She's in the middle of the joke. Is excuse me, this on Netflix? <laughs> I'm gonna have to recommend that. Um, I want to do. <laughs> Sorry, I was just just doubling back to Bernie. <laughs> just thinking about him being a streamer. God damn it, dude. <laughs> it's too funny. <laughs> oh, if you tune in in about two months, two minutes now, I'm going to pull my pussy out and <laughs> I'm going to play with my boy pussy. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits. 
<laughs> Damn it, dude. He just lights up a fat backwood. Yeah. <laughs> in a stream. <laughs> I think weed should be legal. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. I don't even know his rhetoric. <laughs> this motherfucker just... Yeah, he just... Whatever. Who cares? Who gives a shit, dude? Who gives a shit about politics, who man? Fucking, who gives a shit? Look, I, I'm definitely not the person to comment on politics ever, but I saw the new line of um, uh, Democratic candidates, and them motherfuckers look like dorks, homie. <laughs> really? Dorks. Corn balls, So it wasn't... Dude. Was the debate last night? It was like a few nights ago. Was it the Democratic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Elizabeth Warren looking like everyone's calling her fucking just a cheese ball. <laughs> She's got like this like clip of her like raising her hand like before anyone. Okay. It's like there's probably some question posed. She's like, uh, uh, I have the answer. Teacher's bet. Yeah, for sure. TP to the fullest. Teacher's, <laughs> teacher's pussy. Nice. Nice, dude. Can't get away from that <laughs> word. God damn it, dude. <laughs> All right. Let me stop. Let me stop right there. Let me just get away. TP stands for toilet paper, actually. Yeah, TP stands, does stand for toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Also stands for um, twerking professionally. Mm -hmm. um, also stands for tearing... Pussy. Yeah, no. Damn it. No. Damn it. <laughs> tearing pumice rock. <laughs> yeah. I almost watched fucking Free Solo on the plane. Bro, you have to. I know, I need to, but I was almost like, this is kind of a, almost like a bad situation to watch this movie. No. I want to be comfortable. I want to be like in my fucking couch okay. so I can really pay attention, not like on a plane where I'm worrying for my own life. Yeah, yeah. That's going to give me even more anxiety because then I'm like worried about this dude <laughs> and then I'm worried about myself yeah. at the same time. That motherfucker is um, interesting as hell. Yeah, watch that. What the fuck else has happened this week? <laughs> what, is that? what else has gone on? What do we, let's, let's back, let's back, track a little bit yeah when did we record the last episode we recorded it when we were in the process of oh yeah in your apartment yeah releasing um our bowels yeah bowels not sh short kings uh music video no, no no it was the day before it was the day before the color session um it was a wednesday was so it so since then we dropped short kings anthem Mm -hmm. video came out mm -hmm. we shot a new music video no that was that was last friday <laughs> that was last fucking friday was it yeah a week ago then today we had the weekend oh yeah damn and then tuesday we left oh yeah right so last friday we shot a new music video which was a crazy ass music video yeah um you guys will see it in a couple weeks <clears throat> yeah i wish we could talk about that i think we can talk about what can we talk about from that it was an overnight so we shot from 7 p.m till five in the morning <laughs> yeah in like in like a, a very uh sketchy area of of la yeah um, um do we I, I forget if we fucking mention we talk about so we had some people come out and be extras for us mm -hmm. um big thank you to them mm-hmm Fucking hell, I'm going crazy. Did we talk about this? We couldn't have. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was the fucking just most... We couldn't have. We couldn't have. We couldn't have possibly discussed this. <laughs> we doth not talk about this. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I don't think we did. Nah. Um, big, big, big thank you to everyone who came out Checking to be an extra. my calendar because I'm just still not convinced this was last Friday. That was last Friday. 100%. This month has been a, a fucking... Yeah, it was home. last Thursday. And then when did we record the episode? We recorded it on a Friday. I think we recorded it Wednesday. Yeah, we did. I think we did. Because Friday I yep. woke, woke yeah. up. Yeah, you're right. Hm. Took Ollie on a nice little walk. Mm -hmm. That was great because I, I was like, I'm going to just walk to this new breakfast burrito place. And it was 12, but I didn't look at that part. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to just cruise up in there and get me a little breakfast burrito. I'm going to give Ollie some crumbs. I'm going to have a coffee and I'm going to sit here. I get there and it's just, it's just lunch, you know, right by <laughs> a full the, screen. And the, oh no! Yeah, Wait, did yeah, you see everyone? It, yeah, and it, no, I didn't see anyone <laughs> I knew. Uh, I did no, I did, I did see Paul. Um, okay, but I'm, I'm just standing there like, yep. Well, this is everybody. Every, is everybody's business hour, and everyone's put together, and I'm just sitting there with my fucking stank ass just breath, bags under your eyes. Yeah, just not awake, and all he's like afraid of public. He's got major anxiety, so I'm just like holding him. <laughs> Just like looking dead in the eyes, but just like petting this dog, like to calm him down from anxiety. And he's just like sitting in my arm. People, you're like 
old coworkers. Yeah. Are, is that Noel? Yeah. And I'm you're just, just stand. You're just standing there. <laughs> yeah. Like old, a crackhead. Yeah, just old petting my dog. Is this your dog? I mean, it doesn't have to be. Yeah. You got it, twenty it, on you right now. Do you want it? <laughs> it's your this. dog. It is. It is as of today. I just. I don't know. I, I found, found it. It. <laughs> <laughs> it can be yours for like a hundred. You got a hundred on you. You can have it. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, I need a hundred bucks. You just have a hundred. I just have a hundred because I want the dog too. I like. I actually like the dog. Speaking of a hundred bucks and crackheads, I got to tell this story. Fucking Tom, our fucking stage manager. We go out. Cody, you know, responsibly goes to bed early. Me, I got to stay up late and eat fucking garbage. And uh, so I'm doing that um, with the tour crew, and we get back in the sprinter. To, to come back to the hotel and uh, a homeless gentleman goes, excuse me sir do you have any money and Tom's like sorry bro I ain't got any cash <laughs> the guy just keeps kind of just you know giving him a spiel like could I please I only have 40 cents to my name could you please and Tom goes ah bud I don't want to close you out man but I'm gonna and then he just rams the door shut Jesus <laughs> Just slides the door. That's so like needlessly mean. <laughs> but but I, I got where Tom was coming from because the dude was standing like in, like he's leaning into the sprinter. Oh almost. yeah, that's creepy. And Tom's like, "All right, man, like I've definitely let you encroach on my space." Okay. And he's like, oh, "Sorry, bro, I gotta close you out." <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, so I Cold. Just, yeah. So I've just been making fun of Tom, saying that when he's fifty, he's gonna be in a dive bar. <laughs> And someone's going to be talking to him, and he's going to be like, you ever slam a door on a crackhead? <laughs> Let me tell you about my touring days, buddy. He's always got a fucking story, man. I just saw him downstairs, yeah, and he was like, oh, dude, <laughs> do I have a story for you or something like that? He's like, this dude that we met last night, <laughs> oh, yeah. his name was something, like it was like, you know, something like weird, weird as fuck. <laughs> it was like, this guy's name was like Sugar Dave or something like that. <laughs> and... He he fucking shows me a picture of him, and he's sitting next to him at the bar, and there's dice on the table. Yeah, that picture. And he was, oh, did you meet this guy too? No. He was like, he's like, this guy came up beside me. He was like, let's play some dice, man. <laughs> and Tom was like, all right, man, let's do it. Holy shit, Milwaukee. Yeah. So, Tom, yeah, so this is at one uh, thirty in the morning. Tom texts me a picture of him and this dude with a set of dice on the bar counter. He goes, he made me play dice. He thinks my name is Jeremy. <laughs> Which I got to know what, at what point he switched Tom to Jeremy. <laughs> he just told him it was Jeremy, he said. Oh, it did? Okay. Yeah, for yeah. whatever reason. It, yeah, oh, yeah. Tom's the king of that. Yeah. What's your name? Bartholomew. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Exotic. Yeah. Where, where is that? Well, well, I was just born in um, uh, Kansas. But what were just the dog, the breakfast burrito? Yeah, yeah. My stank ass breath. Mm -hmm. Coworkers. Mm hmm. Um. um uh, I fucking, this is how I started the damn weekend. The dentist. Oh, yeah. How was that? So I haven't been to the dentist in like three, four years. You have 58 cavities? No. I So I've been having like jaw pain a lot. And so I'm like kind of worried about that. And so uh, finally I was like, you know, it's one of those things where you can't like make yourself do it. Like there's a, like I finally sat myself down. I was like, make a fucking dentist appointment. Just do it. This yeah. is for your own good. Yeah. And so I. I asked my friends, does anyone have a good dentist on the West side? My friend gave me an, a number and I go in there. I it's no like you have to make, you have to submit one of their like online forms to request an appointment, which is fucking annoying. Just give me the number. I want to call yeah. and ask for an appointment. Yeah. So I do that. They email me back a day later. Sorry that that's not available. Call us. <sighs> oh my God. So then I'm like, fuck it. And I just leave it for like three weeks. And then finally I'm like, okay, make a fucking dentist appointment. <laughs> I finally call them. And I'm like, hey, can I can I make an appointment? I'm a I'm a new patient, and they're like, yeah, um, can you come in this weekend at like 7 a.m. or some shit? And I was like, or no, it was that it was that we were like shooting or something, and I was yeah. like, no, I can't. And they're like, okay, so next available is August, <laughs> and I was like, all right, cool. And I just laughed, and I was like, I'm gonna find another place then. They were like, okay, <laughs> just hung up. <laughs> How the fuck are you that busy? Really <laughs> cleaning teeth? Man. Yeah, and so I finally find another one like just on Yelp. And go there 9 a.m. on Saturday. Yeah. Just scared shitless that the guy's going to look at my mouth and be like, holy fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, there's, there's trees growing out of your damn teeth. 
<laughs> how have you? How long has it been since you got checked, dude? Whoa, whoa, shark mouth! You got another row of teeth growing there from the bacteria. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ! <laughs> what is? This? Is there a gusher logged back there? Ugh. Just, just, just like a gusher <laughs> behind my last molar. <laughs> yeah, I was saving that. Or yeah, I don't know. Pulls a full ass fruit roll up out of the back <laughs> of your mouth. Where did this fucking? How did you? <laughs> oh yeah, I was saving that too. My bad, dude. I was like really scared he was going to look in there and see a whole bunch of shit. And I got like the full set of x-rays done and everything. He was like, yeah, no, no cavities. You're good. You just got to come in for a second cleaning because there's so much plaque buildup. So I have to go back in as soon as we get back. The day after we get back, I have to go back in and get a second cleaning. But it was kind of refreshing for the guy to be like, no, there's no issues. Yeah. Because like <clears throat> I went in for a dentist appointment um, like probably two years ago or something like that. and. The guy was like, yeah, you're going to have to come back in. There's like three things we have to fill. And I was like, fuck that. I don't want to do it right now. Yeah. And so I, I, that's like part of the reason I was so worried. Because I thought I was going to go in this time. And he's like, oh, yeah. oh, they're even worse now. We're going to have to fucking operate. But the nah. guy was like, no. So it means the other guy was full of shit. Yeah. And they're just crooks. They do that, man. Dentists, dentists do that. Mm -hmm. they, they don't make money outside of the cleaning. It's crazy that I, I cannot stand fucking plaque build up i take care of all that shit i don't even let that go for a few days yeah i'm flossing now i'm like in i'm like treating it like st taking it seriously because nah. it's like we're getting to the age where it actually starts fucking you up she was <laughs> like if this would have if you would have left this for another year or two it would have turned in, into gum disease ew so like ew. it's good that you're like tackling this now but like you know you can just do that shit in your 20s you can just fucking leave your teeth and like whatever yeah, that's true and nothing they're like yeah just floss and you're like i'm not gonna fucking floss <laughs> you know i'm, I'm, I'm gonna floss <laughs> but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna floss. floss oh you want me to floss yeah here how's this how's that is that good enough and this is like the dentist probably the dentist probably got it the worst out of Fortnite. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. Your kid needs to floss more. I'm flossing all the time. <laughs> no, I can floss right now. I'm really good at flossing. Okay, Timmy. Okay. No, I mean your teeth. You have to floss your teeth. I there's no tooth skin in Fortnite. No, your teeth are disgusting. You, you need, need to you need to clean them and take care of them. I like Dad, Dad, what are you doing? Are you <laughs> just letting him not brush his teeth? I don't I don't Are you know. making sure he flosses? I don't want to talk to him. We floss together. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> this is how I relate to my kid. We both do the floss dance. Fort, Fortnite dad. <laughs> Look at Victory Royale right here. Down low, buddy. <laughs> this kid's got gnarly fucking... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just black all down like the front. Smeagol teeth. <laughs> <laughs> they both do. They're just cheesing as they're flossing. <laughs> this is disgusting Mountain Dew teeth. <laughs> <laughs> fucking eroded from Rockstar and... Fucking Doritos. And then just like the fucking gummy worms. <laughs> yeah. Eating those all day. <laughs> I like the floss. And just looking Victory at them. Victory like, Royale. How the fuck did you motherfuckers even come in here? <laughs> just get out. Uh, dude, they're all pointy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, man. Bad teeth. Bad teeth. Fuck with me, man. All right, guys. We got to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Be right back. Guys, first and foremost, we want to thank HoneyBook. Yes, we do. For sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Look, if you run your if you run your own business, you're used to doing it all. But if you're struggling to get through your to-do list, HoneyBook can help. Mm -hmm. It's an online business management tool that organizes your client communications, bookings, contracts, and invoices all in one place. It makes it simple to run your business better. Better. Professional templates, e-signatures, and built-in automation keeps everyone on track and everything on track mm. and makes you look good. Wow. Um, it's the number one choice for clients and business management for freelancers and business owners. So if you're a freelancer, if you do graphic design or anything, um, HoneyBook can help you run your business better. And right now, HoneyBook is offering our listeners 50% off your first year with promo code TINY. Payment is flexible, and this promotion applies whether you pay monthly or annually. Either one. Go to HoneyBook.com and use mm -hmm. promo code TINY for 50% off your first year. That's HoneyBook.com, promo code TINY. Tiny. Ladies and gentlemen, we also want to thank none other than SeatGeek today. <laughs> Do you ever that's feel an like that's an air horn? Was it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever feel like ticketing websites are getting, uh, make getting to the event difficult on purpose? It's almost as if they're so big they can get away with not caring about the customer experience. Well, guess what? There is one site who does care about you with millions of live tickets and a price match guarantee. SeatGeek proves there is a better way. Okay. 
Um, in an industry that tends to stagnate, SeatGeek decides to stand out from the crowd. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> why is SeatGeek better than the rest? Let me tell you. Uh, a quick look at the App Store. It's got over 50,000 five-star reviews, which is, you know, it ain't even a cam girl site. That's how good it is. Um, <laughs> it's also a better process. SeatGeek pulls together millions of tickets from all over the web, all right? They rate each deal on a scale of 1 to 10, and they display them on an interactive map. You know exactly where you're going to be when uh, you get to your seat. Um We've used SeatGeek a bunch mm-hmm. for ads and not for ads. Mm-hmm. I use SeatGeek almost exclusively to buy my tickets. Uh, I have the SeatGeek app on my phone. It's by far the fastest and easiest way to find tickets. Um, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm zoned out. Anyway, uh, SeatGeek is giving you 10 bucks off your first SeatGeek purchase. All you need to do is use our promo code. So download the SeatGeek app today and use the promo code TINYMEAT for 10 bucks off your first purchase. That's promo code Tiny meat, T I N Y M E A T. Uh, get 10 bucks off your first purchase. Thank you, SeatGeek. We also want to thank Stitch Fix for ah. sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Look, I'm going to describe my, my style in one word. Yeah. Gargantuan. Um, gargantuan. <laughs> <laughs> Big baby. <laughs> but look, however you dress, Stitch Fix has the expert personal stylist that can help you look your best. Uh, personal style is like a fingerprint, everyone has their own. <laughs> yeah like, like Charlize like Snowflake like Charlize they have their own <laughs> Jesus and no. oh uh, god <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, yeah your style is dad with that joke Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service that delivers your favorite clothing brands right to your door Boom. to get started go to stitchfix.com slash show oh it's probably I'm guessing that's our show I know fuck it <laughs> stitchfix.com slash tmg <laughs> Answer some questions about your... They forgot to put the fucking show acronym in there. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Answer some questions about your preferred style and your personal shopper. Uh, will ship you a box of clothes, shoes, and accessories. There's no commitment required, and you only pay for what you keep. Shipping, exchanges, and returns are always free, plus the $20 styling fee is automatically applied towards anything you keep from your box. You'll yeah. never have to think about looking good again with Stitch Fix. Get started today at stitchfix.com slash TMG and get an extra 25% off when you keep everything in your box, that's stitchfix.com slash TMG. That's stitchfix.com slash TMG. That's stitchfix.com <laughs> slash TMG. Yeah, we all we, we all know you have commitment issues when it comes to the box. So just stitchfix.com slash TMG. Uh, Cody just had a clapping fit. Yeah, when the coffee hits, you be like, clap, 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 clap. Everybody clap those cheeks. Clap, clap, <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Bust it clap, down clap. to the left. Clap, clap, it down clap, 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 to the clap. right. Crisscross. Crisscross. Everybody clap those cheeks. Clap, clap, clap. Bust down now, y'all. Two busts this time. Bam, bam, three busts this time. Bam, bam. Bust to the left. <laughs> Bust to the right. I wonder if that's how... So, what, what songs now are going to be like sounding like that? Or is, is the cha cha slide just going to be the perpetual till we die? No, this is what. Okay, wait. I maybe was, was I talking to Kelsey about this? I think I was talking to Kelsey about this, not you. But like, like there's this like this theory developing in my mind. Okay, <laughs> that Uh-oh. all music, that music right now is being f- ruined by TikTok. Okay, and every single <clears throat> piece of music in like two years, all the hot songs are all going to be songs that are like like engineered to be 15 second little snippets. Mm. So it's, and, and like, and like sketches almost. Okay. Cause every song that blows up on TikTok has like a little sketch in it or something like that. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so they're basically just, just going to be that in like two years. It's going to be like the instruction. It's going to be like wedding songs. <laughs> it's all the top 40 songs are all going to be like instructional wedding songs <laughs> that, that kids can easily do like lip sync and do dances to. Black Mirror season nine creativity is gone. That's what I'm, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Do you, don't you see that happening a little bit? No, totally. I mean, I, I think like, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. And and maybe I need to be on TikTok more to like really understand. But I do understand that um, like music that blows up, obviously it has like that that element to it where it can be acted out or, or performed in some weird way. Yeah. So yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe it's just, I don't know. Yeah fucked up 
to think about. Yeah, I don't know. Or I, just, I don't know. Maybe that's just on the internet, though. Because now I feel like what, what's happening is the internet um, is just being opened up to everyone. And it's mainly kids. I feel like now more than ever, you got way more kids on the internet just because by virtue of cell phones. Mm-hmm. You got way more kids on apps and, and whatever the fuck. So, so much big shit is now being catered to them, obviously. So maybe it won't, maybe music won't be necessarily ruined, but maybe like, quote, real music will be the minority. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Obviously, that was like a hyperbole, but I'm yeah. saying like, like, look at, it just dominates the industry right now. Like, look at Old Town Road. Yeah. How many people are fucking obsessed with Lil Nas X now? Yeah. Just because that song was so memeable. Yeah. Yeah. Like for 15 seconds. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Like it it's it matters so much right now. It does. TikTok oh. and having your song blow up on there. <clears throat> that and I, like I it helped our fucking song yeah. so much. Yeah. Like Walkman has like a shit ton of streams now just from that one playlist. TikTok songs that are stuck in my head or whatever on, yeah. on Spotify. Shout out to whoever added us to that playlist. Yeah, big big That's shout great. out. We're also on New Music Friday again today. Oh yeah, fuck, are we? I think so. Let me let me peep that real quick. That's it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy how much that stuff matters now. It's um no, and it's like you can't not make music now and not think about that. Yeah, you ha- yeah, you definitely have to. It's kind of wild because that's what Vine was trying to be. Yeah, and it's just like they were just a little bit too late. Yeah. It's like if they just too had too early. Yeah, too early. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. It was it was it was too early for them to 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 pivot, and it was too late in that like no one was using the app anymore. Mm-hmm. So and I oh and I guess at that time it was musically. So um oh the Shearsky has a new song, Ed Shearston. Oh, I'm like, is that a is that a rapper? <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your boy Shearsky, aka on, Ed Sheeran. We're on here again. No, we're not on there again. <laughs> oh, rest. Oh, I take rip, it back. Sorry. Rip, rip. Dude, well, it was nice while it lasted. Yeah, fucking it really dope. was. It really was. Yeah, bro. I'm bang that new Shearston song. It's your boy Shearsky, aka Shearston, aka Ed Sheeran, <laughs> and I'm here with my new single. I eat your pussy with my eyes open. <laughs> I was like eating this girl out right with my eyes Wait, who open. Who eats pussy with their eyes closed? I, I eat a, I eat a, I eat pussy with my eyes open like, like it's a, like a magic cup. Like I got my eyes peeled white like a fish. Like I got <laughs> my eyes wide open like like a fish out of water, and I'm just like, <laughs> actually suck on the clip just like that. Wait, do you eat? Do you eat pussy with your eyes closed? Um, I don't. Know. That's that would be weird. I think my eyes are like open, but like I'm. Yeah, my eyes are open. Yeah, no, I think. Yeah. yeah, no, you could be like making love to it. You know what I'm saying? You're just yeah, so, that's true. Yeah, so into it. I just it. picture like ew, 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 ew. I don't want to see it. Plug in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> and so I don't taste it. <laughs> oh man, that's um, that's that's Bethany from Girl Defines <laughs> husband. <laughs> No! <laughs> He's like, all right, Bethany, I'm going to eat your box now. But the voice... I'm in, about to go down on you. The, his internal voice is like, ew, 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 gross, 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 gross. <laughs> oh, I'm about to... Oh, I'm going to eat it up. What I'm if you just... Go. You not, wouldn't not believe what I'm going to do down to your undercarriage. Let's get down there. I'm going to be... Just get down there. Let me just... <laughs> I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna it's go on a snorkel mask. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go down there and work you like a mechanic, babe. I'm gonna be in there with my tool. <laughs> I'm gonna just you wait, just you wait. I'm gonna just let me let me get right down there, and I'm just gonna get <laughs> just. Uh, she's just like, get, okay, yeah, I'm come totally, on. I'm, I'm gonna go down I'm there. Gonna, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna do oh, it I'm so on, hard. I'm on my way. Oh, I'm on my way. Open up for business. Just brr, fucking. The plane's coming in for landing. <laughs> brr, brr, oh, no. Got to do a loop. Tra- air traffic control says I can't <laughs> land yet. <laughs> What's that? Getting word from the tower? Um, <laughs> There's more rain. Yikes. You're too wet down there. You got to get a little drier. I can't land because I it's too circle. wet. I got to circle for a bit. <laughs> 
And he lands. Uh oh, runway's too clogged. It's gonna be a minute before we get to the gate. <laughs> He gets his, then he gets his face <laughs> right up to her pussy, and then he's like, he's like, "Oh, the gate attendant's not here. We gotta wait. We're just ten feet short of the of the gate." So everyone uh, on board is really mad, though. Everyone's really angry. Everyone's really they upset. really want to get to the gate. <laughs> just sitting there waiting, waiting, just praying. What's that? We're going to have to take off again? Oh, no. (laughs) Bethany, bad news. (laughs) She gets fed up. She goes, just eat my fucking pussy. He's like, okay, okay, I'm going to. Then he gets right up to it and breaks character. (laughs) Ew, what the fuck? Ew, 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 ew. I can't. Bethany, I can't. I can't. With your thin ass eyebrows and your non lips, I can't. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god dude oh my god Tim, oh my god that's so funny him, him it's like trying to feed a child food that's what eating puts he just keeps turning his head coming in for landing she's like you want a 69 he's like sure and she's just trying to mush her fucking pussy right on his he's face just like, he's like no no ew he keeps licking his finger and like touching it. And he's like, that's my tongue. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> God damn it, dude. But you know what's funny? <laughs> my homie, he had a roommate in college. He was gay. And um, he said like, you know, it, his his parents like fucked up, you know, like they they made him feel guilty for being gay. Okay. And and so he like got it in his head that he's like, okay, I I have to sleep with a woman to know if I'm actually gay. Um, but like he 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 knew he was like he told my my homie he's like you know I did this but like I knew I was gay like I, there was no fucking he's like sleeping with a girl was just fucked up for me, and he's like he's like but I just he's like one night I'm we're partying and this girl is kind of like I can tell like she's into me he's like I fucking just like drank a shitload. I got really drunk. I'm like, all right, let's do it. Like, he, like, took her into his room. And he's like, all right, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to save her. He's like, I'm, I'm going to try to fuck her. And he goes, he, like, pulls down his pants, like, begrudgingly. And he's like, she took off her pants. He's like, I saw her pussy, and I got grossed out. I went, ew, like, audibly, like, ew, and, like, just, like, <laughs> kicked her out or something. Like, he was like, no. Like, he just couldn't do it. Aww. <laughs> I was fucking dying. <laughs> Poor girl. She's like, what's wrong with my pussy? Because the thing that put him off was, I guess, that, like, I guess, like, he shaved his pubes because they, they're swimmers. Uh-huh. And she didn't. So, like, when he saw, like, a hairy pussy for the first time, he just, like, he couldn't stomach it. Like, it was just too much. <laughs> he was like, oh, no, absolutely not. And just so I was like, no. No. Oh like, it just God. heightened. I, think, I don't think her having hair was, like, a big deal. I think it just, like, ex- like accented, like, he didn't want to do it. Yeah. Then he, like... <laughs> Just kicked her out. Just didn't do it. I'd fucking, I was crying when he told me the story. <laughs> and then after that, he was just gay. Yeah, he, yeah, he was like, he was like, never, like, never again. Never. Like, yeah, just, nope, I'm gay. That's it. I'd never want to see a pussy again. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> I just pictured a gay dude just like slamming shots, like trying to work himself up. <laughs> what? Damn. Ew. Yeah. Damn, David, you're drinking a lot of shit. Yeah, I, I, I gotta yeah. eat this pussy later, and I just. <laughs> Uh, plan on eating some box later so, so you know <laughs> here comes the airplane god damn what do you think their sex is like let's not do that yeah let's not do that let's not do that um yeah no i can't i think i've eaten pussy with my eyes closed because i was high mm-hmm. it's like fun, snoozing a little bit just fun asleep <laughs> <laughs> <It's fun. laughs> I think I see some Twitter video of this dude who was so faded he like <laughs> fell asleep in his girl's box. <laughs> it's just like he's just sleeping, and she like wakes up. And he's like he wakes up and starts going again. It's, it's just some dark. That's shit. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you get a nap. Sometimes you get a nap if you're going for a really long time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, can't get really can't get away you? from pussy. It's probably me. You really just got, um, what is Matt? 
was Matt going on about here? Um, oh, okay. Copy. All right. Yeah. Understood. Got it. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Anyway, sorry let's, guys. Let's sorry, sorry for the <laughs> sorry for the pussy talk. A mm-hmm. little bit of pussy. Yeah, what else is what else has been going on? Who cares? That was the funniest shit we're gonna say all day. <laughs> what? <laughs> the fucking air for the fucking closeted gay dude being an airplane and not eat pussy. <laughs> we don't got anything better know, after that. that. that, that, that <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, LAX. You know how it is. <laughs> we pulled in, but we landed safely, but we can't get to the gate, so God, yeah, it's so clogged up with traffic, and she's like, she's like okay, <laughs> she's like playing along with it. Okay, but can we get to the gate like pretty soon? I, Bethany's not up to me. It's not up to me. Okay, I gotta wait. This is a serious thing. Okay, you know, I'm <laughs> fucking. He pulls, she's like, well, just can we? Can you just nut in me? Like, can we go for the kid? He's like, oh yeah, sure, totally. And he like fucking pulls his dick out. And he's like, oh. <sighs> They left the bags in Pittsburgh. <laughs> the bay is empty. There's no bag. There's nothing. There's no cargo there. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What no, are you talking about? I have no cum. It's in Pittsburgh. What are you talking about leaving in Pittsburgh? This is, what you, this is it's a fantasy situation. A, the baggage. Hey, it's, it's, it's not up to. It's not. I wish I could do something about this, but you know how American Airlines is. If you have an issue, go down to the baggage claim office <laughs> and file a claim. Okay. File a return baggage claim. And then you can get your cum. <laughs> you can get your cum in seven to ten business days. We should we should tweet. <laughs> we should tweet about this because I, it's it's happened to us like five times now, and I'm getting angry. This fucking airline, you know how they're the worst. We should we should tweet about it. <laughs> At American Airlines, my husband won't come inside me. <laughs> My husband won't nut in me. Please send the cum. American Airlines. Everybody, I want you to go tweet American Airlines right now and say, please send the cum. My husband won't nut in me. I just, I just want their notifications lit up with fucking a thousand people. My husband won't come in me. Please send the cum. What? <clears throat> that's he, the only, he requested that, not me. No, that's the only cyberbullying that's okay is bullying airlines. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's true. That being said, though, American, if you want to do a brand deal <laughs> one day, if you want to sponsor the pod. <laughs> yeah, if you want to make it up to us. We we're up for it. So, yeah, we yeah, got, let's get that airline bag. Yeah, we, we, got some, we got some ideas for how we could promote the brand. Yeah, we got some ideas. Yeah. <clears throat> Dude, if they, were like, if they were like, read an ad for American Airlines and we'll give you first class for a year, I'd be like, fuck yeah. I'd read that so passive aggressively. Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah, American Airlines. Oh, it's the best airline ever. <laughs> uh, it's so cool. Everyone loves it. <laughs> oh, it's the best airline for anyone who doesn't want to spend money. <laughs> it's the best airline for anyone who doesn't have important things to do. <laughs> it's the best airline if you count if you're looking for reliability. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Clear your throat, dude. Got too much cum in there. Mm-hmm. As long as you respond to Matt, I'll respond to Matt. Yeah, go for it. Um, I'm thinking about... Um, so tomorrow we're off to... Mini, or today we're off to Minneapolis. We got a five-hour drive. In, um, and and then we're performing at the festival tomorrow. What festival? Uh, Some festival? The Minneapolis Comedy Festival. Yeah. No, it's not. No? It's, it's got a name. Um, hot dish I oh the believe. hot dish yeah, hot yeah, yeah, dish yeah, yeah, i think yeah, it is yeah, the hot dish baby. and i'm excited i like i like this little like three show run yeah it's kind of cool isn't it it's it almost feels like we can be more relaxed i don't know i've never had more fun on stage in the last two nights i think we have just at a point where we're comfortable like loosening up on stage I and mean, you know um we've been trying out new stuff everyone's been super supportive and and seems like uh, they're entertained by it and that's really I think that's the best part. Yeah, definitely. Like being able to try the new shit and, yeah. and seeing people respond to it. Yeah, <clears throat> very dope. Yep, very, I totally very agree. Dope. Um, so yeah, we're excited. Minneapolis is a cool place. Minneapolis, and then we're off to the Bahamas. Yeah, Bahamas, which uh, the Bahamas, <laughs> as otherwise yeah. pronounced. Um, 
But so we're heading there. And yesterday there was a news article of some girl in the Bahamas that got attacked by three sharks at the same time and died. And she passed. Which is sad, extremely sad. But yeah. three fucking sharks at the same time? I know. Holy shit. That's scary as fuck. Yeah. Mark, One shark is scary. Yeah, but three. Three sharks at the same time? Mark Cuban, Kevin O'Leary, and Damon at the and same they, time. And they all turned her down. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're going to hell. So bad. You're going to hell. So bad. Sorry. <laughs> and they all turned her down. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. No, dude. but it is, it is, it's, isn't that scary? I don't know. That's fucking frightening. Well, like man. that means she had to, she, that means like she had to have been swimming in like a school of fish or some shit. Something. Yeah, like probably, something to make yeah. three sharks attack her at the same time. Yeah, probably. It should probably was like amongst a bunch of fish. I mean, that's, that's crazy. After we jumped off the boat in, um, uh, France uh -huh. in wherever the fuck we were, Saint Tropez, uh -huh. I've never jumped off of a boat. Because I've never been on a boat, really. Okay. Well, actually, only a couple times, but regardless. When I got in that water, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is in this water. I got freaked the fuck out. Yeah, but, yeah. I don't know if there's sharks over there. It wasn't even that it was sharks. It was just like, I don't know what's here. Yeah. It's just the unknown. Yeah. I was like, fuck this. I'm out of here. Yeah, I guess that is kind of scary. I got like this random like adrenaline dump where I was like... <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that definitely happens. Yeah. First time in like a big body of water like that. Yeah. That happens in fucking lakes. You're like, I, yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. But I, yeah, I don't know. I guess from being in the ocean so much, I don't really think about that anymore. But now I'm definitely not going in the water now. No. No. In the Bahamas. No. Now that I know there's like fucking hungry ass sharks all, all over the place. <laughs> I mean, that, that's just the media programming you, man. It's just to me, people die from sharks all the time, man. No, no, it's the, it's the other way. People rarely die from sharks, dude. <laughs> you're just like, you're just letting the media change the way you look at things, dude. <laughs> Don't let it fucking, uh, <clears throat> that's what everybody's saying about the Dominican Republic. Yeah, so what, so there's. I know literally nothing about that. I was so, reading a little bit about it. So there's, there's 10 tourists now, 10 American tourists now that have died in a year in Dominican Republic and they have no idea why. But it's also like the tourism board is basically like this happens every year. Like this is not abnormal for some reason. The the media is like, I, I and I don't know who's right and what that real story is. But apparently, like the tourism board is basically like this is just the American media like trying to create a story out of nothing because this amount of tourists die every year on vacation. It just happens everywhere. <laughs> but it's also like the reason why they're dying is just like nobody knows. Yeah, like people are just like going into cardiac arrest like randomly. And well, so they think like there's something in the alcohol or something like, oh like God. The, I know, or something Fuck like, off, so dude. they're thinking it was a cleaning product that they were using in the Get hotel room. Get out of here, buddy just came with so much coke <clears throat> and just fucking did a bender. Yeah, but no, it's like family people. I mean, not saying family people don't do coke, but I, it's like, <laughs> it's like random. It's like after one drink, they'll fucking just die. Mm. No, well, maybe. And that, I don't know. I don't know. Or it's like one of those things where you, yeah, it's like maybe, maybe it's a story out of nothing. Yeah. There was that shit. It, we went to Mexico where people were like, yeah, getting like poisoned at the resorts or whatever. Yeah, and the resorts were like, this, nothing's happening. Yeah, this is just like people are dying because they're drinking too much, and they want to make it seem like it's somebody else's fault. Yeah, yeah. There was only one. I thought there was one story where some girl got like fucking like stabbed in a pool or something, but I don't know. Or like they just yeah, found she got her, too like, drunk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Man, I don't know. Whatever. Foreign affairs. Look, all I'm saying is I'm not I'm not getting in that water and you probably shouldn't either. But it's, it should be a good time. Yeah, but if they have one another one of those fucking stand up jet skis, I'm definitely doing that. Yeah. I gotta go. Yeah, I got it. I didn't ride that I didn't was, ride the ski ski. That was the most fun. I didn't ride the ski ski. Anyone's doing the stand up one of those stand up jet skis? It's like kinda like <sighs> a I don't even know what it's like. Skiing almost. It's so sick. It's so much fun. The one where you like. So, so sick. <laughs> I just. I saw you guys ripping up and down the water. I was like. Yeah it looks tight. But then like. You're like out there. <laughs> and I'm good. <laughs> I just. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, now, now with these hungry ass gray whites. <laughs> and they turned her down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just proof you've been hanging out with me too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not true. something you yeah, would have said no, like even a year ago. No, not at all. You know what clip I went back and watched is the Canadian abortion one. 
Which one was we that? We were talking about like the little hot dish going off the side of the mountain, and I was just like the Canadian abortion. <laughs> Wait, what? What were we talking we were about? We were talking about like the little fucking dish that the kids slide down on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, the shit going off the side of a the mountain. They're just like, CAA. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Oh, that's it. bad. <laughs> that's mean. That's mean. That was like one of the earliest episodes, wasn't it? No, no, it was definitely in the like in the middle area. Speaking of speaking of which, shout out Spock. He has moved all our shit out of the old studio. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> He's handled that. And uh, we're in the new stew. We're figuring that out. Um, we got a production designer coming through to build us a little set. Oh, yeah. It's going to be fucking <clears throat> sick. Yep. Um, shout out to Noah Sampson as well. He's been helping us beef up our tour visuals. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that I think that has been my favorite one of my favorite things on the tour is like now that we're comfortable with the material is like growing the show evolving it adding these new features and shit Mm -hmm. i think uh i don't know it's tight i want to keep working on it obviously we'll we'll just keep spicing it up yeah no for sure but i mean like i i I don't want to be cheesy or whatever i just do want to thank everyone like just for i don't know fucking for everything like um between the tour music the podcast like everything like yeah, we, it's been a pretty whirlwind, whirlwind couple months. Yeah. And now we're over 10,000 patrons on the yeah. Patreon, which is astronomically higher than we ever thought that it would it would go, honestly. Mm-hmm. And so that's pretty fucking incredible. And then these shows have been amazing. The energy is it's a new level of energy for sure. Yeah. And uh, the support on the music has been incredible too. Like the, the streams are through the roof. And actually, let me check something real quick. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh yeah, Walkman. Yeah, uh, not yet, but I think no, today we might hit a million monthly listeners on Spotify, Get which is the fucking fuck insane, out, bro. Get that's it. something I never thought that would ever happen in no. my life. So no, that's pretty fucking amazing. Honestly, humbling. That is what <clears throat> we're we're at nine hundred and fifty thousand monthly listeners. Yeah, but Holy. that's that was yesterday's number. It hasn't updated yet today. Holy fuck, bro! What? Yep. What? So, oh, also, there's there's Short King merch right now in, oh, yeah, in yeah, Black yeah. Bear's web store, and it's a it's a collab, two collab pieces that we released. One of them is us on like a uh, king's like card, yeah, like a card deck. Yeah, it's really that design is dope. And then another one says Fun Size, <laughs> which is awesome. So, um, copy one of those. The link is well. Somehow this thing stopped recording. So, um. <laughs> Coder's just fucking lame. God C- damn it. Coder's just telling a lovely story about it. I don't know if, know if you want to <laughs> Can you use it. the camera audio, audio no, for that part? No, hell no, dude. <laughs> camera audio. Basically, the gist of the story is that, damn, that was fun to tell, too. I know, fucking A. Is that we checked into this hotel, and it's, like, super busy because it's Summerfest, and so there's, like, tons of cars and people checking in and out and stuff like that. And there's, like, four valet dudes. One of them is, like, a kid. He's, like, 19, probably. And someone... Someone gives him the keys to this giant Ford F-150 white, giant-ass truck. And uh, he gets in the driver's seat and starts driving it over the parking lot and turns this corner too tight and fucking owns this brick wall <laughs> that they had built. It's like little brick wall. Fucking just right into it, dude. Just bam. And everyone in the hotel is like, oh, shit. And the kid gets out and walks around the side to look at the side of the car. And the fucking whole side of the truck is just concaved in, man. Like, like three feet of this truck is fucking just destroyed, <laughs> and the wall is all knocked over. And he just goes, "Fuck me, fuck!" And like walks over to his boss and starts telling him. And this is we're all watching this through the window, so we can't hear shit. But it's just like I felt so bad for this fucking kid, man. How did he not hear it on the first foot of the car? <laughs> it's like. Wah! It was all the way. And he's like, just like, hmm, I wonder what that is. <laughs> it's got the music too loud. Yeah. Dude, that reminds me. I was behind some dude at like a fucking Taco Bell. Dude, brand new Ram, Dodge Ram 1500. White. Same thing. What the fuck? White trucks. Fucking shit up. He's in the drive through And like he's positioned kind of awkward. And I'm like, yep, here it goes. Here it goes. And the yellow pole that's like on the, you know. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, he turns. And I just see it go, and it hits the shit, and he he just doesn't hear it, and he keeps going. Oh my God. He like fucking rolls like a good like two and a half feet of like dent, like just deep into the car, and then he's like, "Oh, what the fuck!" And he like abruptly stops. And I'm just like, "You fucking dipshit!" 
Oh my God. <laughs> Another lady, dude. Same thing. She, this is like the worst driving I've ever seen in LA. She fucking is in a Honda CRV, cuts too hard, like puts <sighs> her fucking front driver's side quarter panel into a, like a yellow pole like that. Okay. She looks at it. She goes, oh, like she's throwing her hands up. She reverses. Um, but somehow in that process, cuts back. So she's now damaging further, like the <laughs> front. She can't like get off it. And she goes, oh, Jesus, puts it back in drive. And I can see all this, like the, the car's like lurching from like the fucking transmission changes. Cuts the wheel back again. Okay. And is just like, <laughs> just like goes through the quarter panel into the door. <laughs> And had the craziest reaction I've ever seen. She finally gets her car off the shit after she just destroyed the fucking <laughs> front half of it on the driver's side. She's laughing. She's like, oh, <laughs> and just drives away. Doesn't even bother to get out. Mondays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Her husband is probably just sitting on the driveway like, you've got to. <laughs> Cheryl. That pole came out of nowhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, oh, shout out to the person in our community section who fucking almost got killed listening to our podcast, dude. What happened? She was pulled over in a neighborhood looking around for like a new place to move into. So she pulls over to watch the fucking GT Day video. She's like, she's sitting there still, and a dude just fucking plows her car and it flips. What? <laughs> or, or his car flipped. It was something crazy <laughs> like that. And she like went to the hospital. She's like, we're both fine, and I finished the video on the way back home. <laughs> Wait, I got to read this. This is in community section? Yeah. <laughs> is it recent? Yeah, it's like one of the most recent posts. I couldn't believe that shit. I was like, oh, my God, dude. <laughs> How fast is this fool going? What kind of car did he have? Almost died watching Kombucha Lair. I'm okay, first of all, but my insurance might get fucked. <laughs> I was sitting in my car parked in a neighborhood about to go looking for housing. Cody's new video popped up and I stopped to watch it. Not two minutes in, I get rammed so hard. The guy who hit me flips over and rolls. He's alive, but went to the hospital. I had my friend come pick me up and watch the rest of the video on the way home. Uh, loved, it. A, yeah, <laughs> loved it. Loved it. Loved it. That's so <laughs> great fun. ending. Loved it. That's crazy, man. What kind of car is he driving? <laughs> He's just driving like a little fucking, just like a little smart car. That's like some Grand Theft Auto shit. Really <laughs> <is>. just, <laughs> just turns it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the door pops open and the fool is just like, <laughs> just hella normal. <laughs> Anyone got a cheeseburger? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Rams the shit out of my car. <laughs> How? I want to know the details. I know. What kind of car was it? How did he do that? Yeah, it's kind of sick. It's just fucking Sean White. Some X Games motherfucker. All right. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but your boy has to defecate. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you for listening. I'm sorry that the recording turned off. No, just let it rip. Briefly. Dude. Just let it rip. <laughs> 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 no, it's piss and shit. <laughs> What's the most you've done at one time? Piss, shit, sneeze. And burp. And came. <laughs> All at the same time. Come and piss at the same time, dude? No. Yeah, that's like, you know, in the office, the woof? Nah. It's like what what, uh, what fucking Brian. I, my brain won't remember. He, he develops this service called woof where you can woof someone. They get like a fax, a text, an email, oh. like all at the same time. <laughs> that's what, that's like the body version of woofing. Yeah. Like I'm about to go woof, which is just like you shit, piss, come, sneeze. Yawn, burp. We are definitely at the end of the podcast, <laughs> all at the same time. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting, we're we're woofing all the material we have. Yeah. All right, guys, go cop one of those uh, fun size shirts, <sighs> Black Bear collabs. That's on our Twitter. Uh, and then we got shows coming up in uh, in Canada. There's still like a couple tickets left. So tinymeattour dot com. Yeah. And uh, it's fucking the shows have been a lot of fun. So I don't think you want to miss these ones. They're no. gonna be a blast. Um, a woofing blast. Yeah. All right, guys. Wolf blast right now. See you. Uh, see you next week. Bye. Peace.